Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to support keyboard layout in Vile. First, let me show you what is keyboard layout. So here you can see there is one tab called layout here. And right now we have a two U space layout checked. And you can see this bar is two unit, this bar is two unit. If I uncheck it, they both become one unit. And if you go back to the key map, this becomes two keys, this becomes two keys. So that is the layout. Uh, also, layout could be a checkbox. It could also be a drop-down box where you have multiple choices. OK, so in order to support the keyboard layout, all you need to do is to uh, edit the vial.json file. And that again means you need to uh, need to edit the uh, key map from the keyboard layout editor website. Okay. Um, specifically, you need to change both the labels and the key map. Uh, I have an example here. So in this JSON file, there is a layouts uh, tag. And if you don't have layouts, uh, like those choices or that tab, then you won't even have this labels tag. So the first thing you need to do is you need to add this labels tag. And it has to be a list. So in my case, I ho only have one um, cust customization. So I just put a name there to use space and that will be, that will generate uh, this choice. Um, if you have multiple ones, then you can just write them all here. Okay, let me also explain what you need to change uh, visually in this key map. So before this layout support, I don't have this key. I don't have this key. Also for these four keys that's relevant for this layout, uh, I wouldn't have this 0000, zero, zero, zero uh, labels. Okay, so Basically, I just need to add these two keys and add those uh, subscripts. So what this one zero zero means is the first zero refers to the index of this first label. And the second zero means that label is inactive. So this zero zero basically means uh, this key is active when the first label is inactive. So when you uncheck this uh, tag, this key become active. Similarly, these three keys become active when you uncheck this to you space. So for this key, the zero refers to this to you space tag. And this one means when that tag is active, this key becomes active. So that's why when I check this one, we got this two unit space. Uh, another thing is, why is this key called for two here? Uh, okay, so let me back up uh, one step. So you can see all those keys, even, even when you don't have the layout, they will have two numbers. And that refers to the location in the, in the keyboard matrix. So the first one refers to row, second refers to column. So uh, since I added this key, I need to put in this these two values. And I know, I mean, uh, it's, it's either 3, 2 or 4, 2. Uh, but you have to make a choice which one it is. So uh, you can either look at the PCB and look at the wires and you can figure out uh, it is for two. Another way is um, you just use this when when you space uh, layout, and then set the key there. Let me just show you. So before I made this change, I literally have this key map, and uh, there are two keys. Uh, obviously, if I set both of them to be the key I want, it will work. But then you can easily figure out only one of them share the same so sockets. 
as the 2U uh, layout, then you will know it is this key that uh, corresponds to the 2U layout. So that's how you will you will know this is actually 4-2. Okay, I think that's all about uh, this uh, layout thing. So again, I'm assuming you know how uh, Vio compilation works, uh, and roughly how this uh, KLE works. So let me show you. Uh, in the KLE website, when you add this, the, uh, when you edit this key, you have to put this zero zero here in the bottom legend uh, here, because there are some convention uh, in in this JSON file that tells uh, there's a, a convention between QM uh, QMK or VIO with respect to this JSON file. So only if you put it here that that's th this these values are linked to the layouts and then the convention here is this part when you put the numbers here that is the matrix the, the keyboard matrix okay i think that's all i want to cover uh there's one more thing related to the previous video on the rotary uh encoder so you may wonder why uh for the rotary encoder, why this is 0, 0, and 0, 1. Obviously, 0 and 1, the second 0 and 1 refers to left turn and right turn. The first one is 0 because, in my example, there's only one rotary encoder. So there's only one key, and that key will be 0. If you have multiple keys, multiple multiple knobs, then you will refer to them by 0, 1, 2, etc. Okay, no, uh, okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.